Hey gang, <clears throat> happy Wednesday hump day. Um, I was laying here thinking uh, about Trisha thinking uh, her age was, um, she keeps saying she was born in 78, but I came across this article Jacksonville woman who appeared on Dr. Phil and bullied a woman to suicide starts trial Monday for assaulting a man in court. That's Patricia Curley mugshot. A woman who appeared on Dr. Phil's show in 2017 because she couldn't stop streaming her personal life on YouTube is headed to court Monday. But first, let's get into who Truth for Trisha really is. Who is Truthfully Trisha? Patricia Curley, 43, of Jacksonville. Okay. So, I, why does she keep saying she's born in 77? Um, 43, 1974? I don't know. So, she's 43. I don't know why she would lie about her age. Patricia Curley, a 43 of Jacksonville, is a, huge, is a small YouTuber who has caused huge problems for others, according to YouTube community. She first came to YouTube in 2015 and ever since has used a platform to bully, slander, and defame people. The North Carolina beat learned that Curley had accused people of criminal actions such as drug rings, pill mills, and drug trafficking, all to build her channel and gain subs and views. Curly has spent numerous hundreds, possibly even thousands of hours online looking at people's personal info, doxing them, or um, she allegedly threatened to tear another woman's hair out while making fun of her criminal record and showing her mugshots, of which Curly now has one of her own. YouTubers said Curly has called people's doctors pretending to want information about the cost of procedure, calling a woman's former employee, discussing her criminal record, and asking him to join forces with her for a criminal case against the woman, which I think that was the pizza thing, or the um, pepper thing, I don't know. Many of the content creators who reached out to the beat said they wished to keep their name anonymous because they are afraid that they will be Curly's next victim. Curly told one lady that she would bedazzle a gun for her before the woman puts it in her mouth. Wow. That's nice. That's nice, Trisha. She has allegedly accused multiple men of being pedophiles and also accused one man of being a possible murderer because his brother was in prison. Um, YouTubers say she bullied a woman who survived cancer by faking the need for oxygen on a live stream. She is also alleged to have accused a woman of stealing drugs. From her dying patients and the woman's cancer was her karma. And she said the woman's cancer was her karma. Of course, Patricia was lying about each and everything that she claimed, but she bro broadcasted it all live. In 2017, Trisha appeared on Dr. Phil and claimed that her haters told her to kill herself. Um... It's about the pizza thing, about um, her getting hit with the car. Uh, Trisha's husband, Sean, says he's fed up with his wife streaming. He says he wants her to shut down her channel and focus on their marriage. Which, she didn't. While on Dr. Phil, Patricia said she believes she's the Rosa Parks of the internet. Dr. Phil became involved to try and get her to some help, but Trisha refused because she did not want to leave YouTube and instead continues to bully online. In 2015, she was accused of bullying a woman named Rondi Jones, also of Jacksonville to commit suicide. Crit critiques said that Jones had a drinking problem that no one knew about besides her family until Patricia TT, who claimed to have been her friend, made it public just for attention. Rondi Jones ultimately took her life, and critics say that the family of Jones said Curly's bullying is the reason she took her own life. Uh, 
Catherine Horn Bowling. Okay, okay, that's, I know that is, okay. Um, you can stop it and read it. Years later, and Curly has con still continued her cyberbullying and will not go before a jury for assaulting a man in open court. On August 6, 2018, Curly was arrested for assaulting a local Jacksonville mechanic in open court. She was arrested and charged with misdemeanor simple assault. T.T. was later found guilty by Honorable Judge Henry Stevens, who sentenced her to 48 hours in Onslow County Jail. Required her to obtain a full psychological evaluation and 24 months of supervised probation. She appealed the case to Superior Court, claiming her innocence. According to the warrant, T.T. unlawfully and willfully did hit the victim in the face head, back, side, and clawed him in his eyes and head with her fingernails. Officials in court that day will testify against Curly. Patricia, T.T., how many names you got, girl? <laughs> Sunshine. Her trial begins Monday, April 1, in Onslow County Superior Court. Again, we have witnessed so many people being bullied, and it's not right. It has to come to an end before more innocent people lose their lives. So, just a little info on, truthfully, Trisha, for you who are new to her channel, um, and you watch her, and she's the victim, no, she's not, and, uh, the troll the other night, or whatever happened with 8675309, that was clearly a coincidence and clearly karma because that happens we can't just bully people and not expect to ever get it back that's life you treat people the way you want to be treated plain and simple but my big thing my big thing is why she lies about her age why you're 43. You're 43. Just admit it. You're 43. It doesn't make you any older than 40. I mean, you're 43. <laughs> God. All right, gang. Just, I don't know. I got to get some stuff done now with my day. I don't know. This just, just wanted people to know. Who, Trish, who Trisha is and what she's done. And uh, I ran across this and thought it was interesting. So you guys have a great Wednesday. God bless and be good to others. So good will come back to you, you know? Don't be mean. Don't body shame. Don't fat shame. And if you support this, then you're a bully too. Plain and simple. Alright, later guy gang.